Hey YouTube, this is Kato again. Um, I want to do a video on, on knives and cutting tools. Um, talk about each one of them, kind of how I've used them, where I've used them, and um, just give a general idea of what I think about them. Um, start over here on the left. <clears throat> this is a compact Wyoming saw. Um, you can find these all over the place. I've taken this thing hunting, I've taken it camping. Um, currently I've got two wood blades in here at the moment. Um, you can also buy a, a boning blade. It's, uh, it's great for breaking down bigger game and, and field dressing them. And, uh, yeah, can't say enough good things about this saw. I've used it a lot. Um, <laughs> one thing to watch out for is to make sure that you, uh, you got the blade on the right way. If it's not cu cutting right, turn it around. You probably got it on the wrong way. And it comes in this, uh, this little carrying pouch. <clears throat> camouflage um, and it's got a belt loop in the back here I usually just throw it in the pack and uh, away I go um, here's a camp axe it's, uh, it's from Gerber I painted the handle um, add a little bit more grip to it it's pretty uh, pretty slick um, this always ends up in the in the truck or in the back of the boat um, I take this thing all over the place um, I've abused it, and it just comes back for more. Can't say good enough, enough good things about this this uh, hatchet. I mean, it just uh, performs well. Um, even if it gets a little rusty, you just touch it up. Sharpens easy and uh, holds an edge for quite a while. Um, at the end here, I just got a I got a lanyard um, to attach to keep that thing from from flying out of your hand in case it gets wet. Um, the middle here, I've got a woods, woodsman's pal. It's the uh, the deluxe version. It's got the stacked uh, leather handle here. Um, got a knuckle protector. Um, <clears throat> I got the I got the the perks. You know, I got the, the nice leather case and leather handle. I figured if I was going to spend you know eighty to hundred bucks on a on a blade, I wanted to go and get exactly what I wanted. Good quality blade. Good quality steel. Uh, made in the USA. Um, I've used it quite a few times, although you can't really tell. I mean, this finish this finish holds up well, and I recently uh, polished up the blade here, so it's it's really good to go. Um, it's not uh, not as good on on the drier woods. Definitely, you want you want good green green wood. <clears throat> it's about an eight, eighth of an inch thick. Um, fairly light for its size. I know. Uh, you know, a couple guys that use these for trapping for cutting down limbs and making uh, different setups and uh, but, I mean just you, you, if you're going on a short hike you probably wouldn't mind packing it but anything more than that you're going to want a lighter option for sure um, next I've got the uh, the Ontario Spec Plus here this is the second one I've had the other one uh, I lost chopping wood up at night as you can see from the black handle, it uh, can be hard to find at times. Um, I've used this quite a bit. It's a quarter inch thick. It's a heavy blade. Um, good quality made in the USA. Um, same thing. It's, it's a great camp axe. Um, I haven't used much for this, uh, this sawing um, edge on the back here, but uh, as far as the chopper goes, I mean, it, it does the trick. Um, <clears throat> You guys saw or can see the, the video I've got on there about the, the BK2. I mean, all, all things apply. Uh, it's quarter stick. It's great for batoning. Um, it it do, does you know medium tasks well. I wouldn't say it's good for fine tasks like a like a more would be suited for. But um, as far as a all-in-one encompassing knife and the kit that I've got here, I mean this is uh, this is it. It's what I carry. Um, here we've got the BK9. Um, I put the same uh, the same handle on it as I did the uh, the BK2. It's just got this uh, lanyard in the back attached. It's got a good feel to it. Nice. Uh, it's it's about the same weight as the uh, the BK2. To be honest with you, um, it uh, it's great for uh, batoning. It's great for just limbing trails, blazing trails. Um, it's a great camp knife and it's it's light enough to me. I, I'd consider this uh, definitely packable if you're going to go 
you know, within reason. You're obviously not going to climb a mountain with it, but um, other than that, it's uh, it's a great blade. Um, I just got this small pen sharpener in here um, to touch up the blade. Um, over here, I've got I've got this Mora. I've had this Mora laying around for some time. Um, it's great for small camp tasks. I got this lanyard on the back. I just run it through the the belt clip here to keep it in place, keep it from falling out, anything incidental. Um, stainless steel. Um, this one's been abused. I broke the tip off and tried to put some finish on it. Uh, I'm definitely going to be in order for a for another knife, but I'll definitely uh, <clears throat> use this in the meantime. And then uh, if I need a a good bait knife or something for the boat, I mean that's stainless steel. You can't get wrong with a good sharp stainless steel blade. Over here, this was a gift. Uh, it's a Kershaw. It's got multiple blades. Um, I just want to show you guys the, the cutting tools I had laying around. So, and uh, this was one of them. And this is good. Uh, we used it last year for processing the moose, the moose that I shot. Um, and it's got this blade. Um, it's got the larger blade, the gut hook, and then it's got this uh, this saw here. Um, I guess um, you, you get what you pay for. It's thirty bucks for for the whole setup, but for thirty bucks, it's not too bad. Uh, over here we got the uh, K bar camp knife. Um, I got this as a present from my father-in-law some time ago. Um, I've taken this thing to mountaintops. I've <laughs> I've even processed a deer with it. Um, it's obviously rather large for that, but uh, it's a great blade. It's held up well. I've used it extensively for uh, for brushing and, and, and uh, other small camp tasks. Um, it's a great knife. Um, over here, I've got uh, I've got a buck knife. I haven't <clears throat> I haven't used it yet. I got it um, I got it for Christmas. Um, I mean, I've used it somewhat on processing uh, that moose from last year, but this is specifically for dressing dressing it out and uh, I'd like to use that this year but good quality blade made in USA um, for bushcraft I, probably not recommendable just because it's got the gut hook on it um, it's got the serrated blade at the bottom it's, it's great for processing game but other than that it uh, probably wouldn't be as well suited as others um, here I've got a, <clears throat> an old timer buck not an old timer but just a big basic buck folder. Um, I've used this to process game. Great knife. Time and time again, um, I've come back to this knife. Um, holds an edge well. Got a little chip in there from some abuse that it's gotten. But uh, I can't say good, enough good things about this knife. Um, I've taken it a lot of different places and done a lot, a lot of different things with it. Um, comes in this little sheath, belt loop. Can't go wrong. Um, over here I've got a couple Swiss Army knives. These are nice just to throw in a kit. You know, they've got a big blade, a small blade. This one's got scissors and a saw. And, uh, you know, it's got an awl in the back. This one's got everything except for the, the scissors. Um, in terms of making smaller kits, just to have a, a variety of tools, I mean, these are great just to throw in there. You, you know, they're light enough, you're not hardly going to notice them. And, and when you need them, they come in handy. Um, here I've got a commando saw. Um, I haven't used this one yet. I've seen videos on, on YouTube about it. Um, you want to make sure that you, when you undo it, <clears throat> you attach it at both ends and, and it's a solid, uh, straight, straight cut. You know, you don't want to go around a tree with it and, uh, and give it a lot of strain because it will, I mean, that's not how it's intended to be used. It will break. Um, and I, I have broken them before. And I know I recognize now that I wasn't using them appropriately. I've gone around a tree like this and gone back and forth and just snapped the things. Um, come to find out, what you want to do is you want to get a a good bow and a piece of uh, a green timber, stretch it tight, and uh, attach it well at both ends and get it good and tight, and uh, use it as a buck saw. So anyway, that's uh, that's my collection of cutting tools. Um, if you guys got any questions, let me know. Uh, if you want me to do any further reviews, um, field testing, I mean, there's, there's things I can do in that respect. So let me know. All right, thanks for watching.